Hi and welcome to this module on lists in Q. This is the second module in our KX Fundamental series and the reason for that is lists are really the next stepping stone once we've learned about atoms. Um, lists are ultimately just a collection of atoms and when we look at even more complicated data structures in later modules like our dictionaries or tables under the hood they all comprise of lists um, in the most basic form. So it's obviously important to get a good grasp on lists um, early on in your Q learning career. Um, so we're going to be covering different types of lists in this uh, module. Then we'll also be looking at creating lists, how to index into lists, manipulating lists, and then finishing off with list amendment. So let's have a quick look here. I'll just hide my contents for now. Um, I might just zoom in a little to make this a bit easier to see. So we have here a list declaration. We've seen this in the previous video. Um, if you want to assign a variable to um, um, assign a list to a variable, um, we can just use colon and then separate our elements with the white space. So if I run this, I can see I get my list back. Um, so one really powerful thing we can do in Q is do very simple arithmetic on lists without having to add any explicit looping um, around that. Q will understand what we're trying to do. So for example, if I want to add one to every element in that list, I can just simply do plus one and you can see all my numbers have increased by one. Similarly, I can do divide by 10 here, and it does the same thing. Um, I can also use my comparison operator. So we've got less than or equal to 30 here, and this is gonna return a Boolean, true or false, for each element and saying, is this one less or equal to 30? Um, it is, it is, and then the last two aren't, we can see here. Um, so that's a very handy um, feature of Q that basically, um, will apply the, the, your basic operators um, uniformly across the list. Now we've got a very short exercise here. Um, so just asking you to determine the different types of these two different lists. Um, so we have seen this in our previous module with that keyword um, we were using. So have a go with that. Um, and when you're ready to move on, you can resume the video. So let's look at the two types of lists in Q. So we've got simple lists and general lists. Um, so firstly, looking at simple lists, we've seen that this here above here was an example of a simple list. And it's basically when all elements of the list are of the same type. Um, in order to create the list like, um, like this, we have two options. We have the one um, like this, which we also shown above when our elements of the list are just separated by a white space. But we have a second way we can do do the declaration of the list, we can put brackets around it and then separate each element by a semicolon. Um, so if we run this, we see we've got um, two lists defined here. And then we're just showing for variation here on all the different types we can have. Um, so for numeric values, it's very similar. Um, for a string, we can use quotes to define a list. Um, the, the double quotes here will um, determine that you're trying to define a list of character values. And then here, finally, the symbol. Um, just note, instead of a white space, you'd be putting a, a back tick in between all the, the symbols. And then also, just be aware that when you output a simple list, um, you see that the output is listed on the horizontal here. Um, and then if we run type of each of these lists, you can see that we get a positive value. So you might remember this from the last module, I hope you do, <laughs> when we have a negative um, return from the type function, that means we have an atom, whereas when it's positive, it's gonna be a list. So we're seeing here, we have um, lists and we've got variation of types um, returned. Cool, so that's all very straightforward and recapping quite a lot on, on what we did in the last um, module. Um, there's a short exercise here asking you to create a 10 digit integer list called T1. Um, just to note, there is a little shortcut to do that, and it's worth checking out the till keyword. Um, till will basically allow you to create a list um, from zero up to um, however long you want to. Um, so you can see here, till five is creating a list from zero up to four, so it's five elements long. Um, so that's a very handy shortcut to be aware of when you're trying to create a list. Um, so I'll let you have a go with that exercise. And then once you're comfortable, we can move on and just finish up with our second type of lists. So 
We've covered simple lists, fairly straightforward, everything is the same type. Second type is general lists. They're also known as mixed lists. You might see that terminology or people might call them mixed lists instead of general lists. They're the exact same thing. And they occur when not all the elements are of the same type. Um, and they can also occur when we have a list of lists. So let's look at this first one where not all the elements are of the same type first. So in this example here, you can see we're using the bracket notation. So we've got brackets and a semicolon and I'm creating a list and I've got a symbol, a long and a symbol. And notice this looks a little bit different when we have a sim symbol, uh, simple list. Above we've seen it was all on the horizontal. I, I told you to just make note of that up here. But when we have a, a general list or a mixed list, you can see that's um, printed out uh, vertically. So that's a very interesting one just to be aware of. You can usually tell visually um, depending on which way it's output, what kind of list you have. Um, so we can't define um, a general list by a separated white space, but we can use this join operator to create a general list. Um, so this here join is basically joining two different um, atoms together of different types. So you can see this does the exact same thing as um, creating them with the bracket notation. So this join is basically doing a concatenation of one value to the next. If we run type on this list, you can see we get the um, the zero H returned here. Um, so we know when we ran um, the type on any of our simple lists, we got the numeric value of the type. Um, but when we have type on a general list, we get zero H back. Um, and if we ran with each um, operator in between type and person, so the each operator is one of our iterators in Q, um, which we have we'll have a whole separate module on that later um, but for now you can have a quick look here on the each keyword to see what it does um, and it basically will step into that list into the sub level and run a type command on each of these elements individually so rather than checking the whole list as entirety um like we did with type person if we did type each person what's returned is the three underlying types so i've got minus 11 which is my singular atom of type symbol, then we've got me long, and then another symbol. So you can see that I've got minus 11, minus 7, minus 11. Okay, and then the final type of the general list is when we have a list of lists. So to define that, we can use the bracket notation. So you can see here I've got two lists, one, two, three, four, five, six. And very similarly, when I run type on that whole thing, I get zero H returned. And then when I do type on each, I can see I have um, 7H and 7H returned. Okay, so that's um, a brief overview of our simple versus general lists. Um, have a go with this exercise. It's just asking you to create a general list comprising of a list of lists. So it would look very similar to this example here. Um, and I will see you in our next video.